that ability? You know, are they, you know, are they good teammates? You know, and then you find out what their intelligence is off of the field. Um, I think that's a big part of it. And their fit, do they fit? You know, like I said, everything really is about the tape for us. You know, you know, 80% of it is that because you have to have that to get your foot in the door. Um, that's a good question, and uh, we have to really wait a little bit. You know, we can evaluate what we did last year, but obviously when you get pieces to the puzzle and start fitting them in for agency first and then draft, certainly that's going to adjust throughout the offseason. And uh, we're excited about doing that. You know, we have a lot of good coaches. You know, they do a great job of adjusting, and uh, we're excited about getting that done. Coach, uh, what's that? Yeah, like we said, we're just in the process of, of evaluation of everything right now. So, uh, you know, Justin had a really good year last year. We're excited where his progress is. And uh, just like everybody else, he, he's working to improve his game as we are as a football team. Coach, uh, Khalil Herbert's been really good whenever Dave Montgomery hadn't been available. Yeah. I know Montgomery's set to be free. What do you guys, regardless of Montgomery, what do you guys think about Khalil Herbert? Is he got to be capable of carrying the load? Yeah, Herbert's had a really good year for us, and he's had a couple you know, productive years um, for us here at the Bears, and uh, he's, uh, he's an exciting player to watch. You know, he can hit the home run. Um, that's what's exciting about him, and uh, you know he's got stuff he's got to work on too. You know, being more of a viable option out of the backfield and all those things that we all talk about. But uh, he's an exciting player to watch. Man, you, know, you, can't, you can't know where Justin is headed, but do you feel like he's on the right track? Yeah, where he should be. Yeah, I do. You know, for the first year in the system, I think he's on the right track. And again, he's just got to make small improvements and change, change, adjust adjustments to his game. And uh, he's going to do that. Do you have enough there to project? Do you have enough body of work now with him to project where he can carry yeah, that's speculation, I think, a little bit. So I just think that we'll just let it build on where it is and then him just keep building step by step. Right. Yeah, the, some of the conversations that we've had and uh, we've talked about, you know, uh, obviously at the end of last year was really just to, uh, you know, take what the defense gives you. I know that's coach talk, but that's really what he needs to do. He's he's obviously a tremendous athlete and can do a lot of different things. But, you know, if we call a design run, sure, you can run it there. But, you know, third down, and, you know, situations like that, critical situations in the red zone, certainly do it there. But when it's first and second down, you know, early in the game, let's just take what the defense gives you and then move on. Yeah, I just think right now we're all options are open. You know, all options are open for us. We have tremendous flexibility because we have that number one pick, because we have um, all that, you know, revenue inside of that uh, free agency. So I think that uh, right now we leave everything open and look at all options. And then they as you said, yeah, I would just say the ability to turn the corner. You know, most most when uh, guys start their rush and they get their approach, when they get to the move area, you know, the ones that can't get there, they start working away from the quarterback. The ones that do have everything pointing their hips, their toes, their knees, everything towards the quarterback, and they have the ability to work their move around the edge. Um, and then when they get past the quarterback, they have strength to be able to work back inside. Um, so those are the things that we look at, and you know, obviously you got to have great athleticism. Great athleticism, and also the great get-off also helps too. But uh, those are the things we look at. Yeah, just like free agency, you know, I think I evaluated over 60 guys in free agency. You know, wrote reports on every one of them. So I'm going to do the same thing in the draft. You know, I want to get in there and, and know the players. Uh, look at their tape, you know, study their season and have a good understanding. And then when Ryan and I have conversations, you know, we're, we're going to be on the same page when we pick. Yeah, I just think it's the process of it. You know, to make good decisions, you got to have information. And when you have good information, you know, and you're eye to eye meeting with somebody, to me it's, you know, when you, we all went through the COVID with the Zoom and all that stuff, it's not the same as doing what we're doing right now. So I think it's important to be here, you know, and uh, this is a big year for us. Matt, Ryan talked about the due diligence of the quarterback as it these prospects. What do you hope to gain specifically from those meetings with those players? Yeah, just to get to know them. 
you know, get to see their leadership skills, you know, how they are as a teammate, uh, their FBI, their functional intelligence right there in the meeting, to see how they think on their feet uh, during that 20 minutes that we get with them during this process. But, uh, yeah, that's what we want to do. We really want to work these guys and see where they are. When you talk about the areas of need, do you have a priority list of something you'd personally prefer the most? Yeah, I mean, everything right now is wide open. You know, so we have to go through free agency first and see what we get there. And then just, you know, we're hoping to take the best, best player available at that point. Uh, but we'll see how it goes through free agency. Yeah. yeah. I saw a group that was well coached. That's what I saw. I thought Chris Morgan did a heck of a job coaching those guys. Um, he's, he's one heck of a coach. That's what I saw first. And I saw a lot of guys that came together. You know, we had that exit meeting with the players after the season, and, man, they raved about the room. You know, so I think having some veteran presence in there was really good um, and brought the guys together, the younger guys. Um, and uh, they were a tight-knit group. And, uh, of course, you know, of course, you know, in the process of it, they got to pass protect better and all those types of things. But I do think that in the running game, you know, the way uh, Luke and Simo designed the runs, we had a lot of yards before contact. I thought that was really good. And our runners really bought into the system as long as, as, as well as the receivers blocking on the perimeter. Matt, Matt is Matt, every... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, they're different pieces, right? You know, you got these, you got a bigger guy inside that's a little bit closer to the quarterback, and then the guy on the edge that's a little bit more athletic, a little bit more range, a little bit more length. So, you know, it's always, it's both are good. You know, I, I wouldn't weigh one or the other right now at that point. You know, I'm just keeping all options open. Now, with the offensive line, is, is every spot open to be taken on the offensive line? Every spot taken. Is every um, spot open to be competed for. And taken? Yeah, I would say that we're in the same boat as last year. I, th I think it's really once we figure out what pieces we have, you know, let's put people in the position to be successful and let's coach them up and let them win the job. Let them go ahead and compete for the job. And of course, you know, obviously, if you draft a guy first in the draft, he's going to be in there playing and all those types of things. But we want to keep it competitive as possible. Such a battle of the pieces in your first pick. How do you weigh one player versus trading back to the other? Can you say that again? When you have the first overall pick, how do you balance adding one major piece versus trading back and adding multiple pieces? Yeah, that's one of the options, right? You know, you can stay there right at one and pick, you know, if you got a great player that you like, and or you can trade back, you know, as far as you need to, you know, to get as many picks as you want. And uh, those are all the options that Ryan and I are looking at right now. And uh, and uh, he's certainly he's a very busy man this week, talking to the agents and all that stuff. But uh, we'll figure that out as we go. we got 58 days or so, but uh, we'll figure that out. Such a battle of attrition now as the season goes on, outside of the luck element. What's kind of the philosophy in terms of injury avoidance and, and winning on that? Um, I would just say that, uh, you know, when you look at the off season, you know, guys are going to be working themselves, you know, because a lot of guys take a couple weeks off, you know, and then they work themselves, you know, into getting into shape where they need to get to before the off season program and they're working in the OTAs. And uh, our guys do a good job with that. Our performance team is really good at, uh, you know, Injury avoidance, like during the season, and also for the for the guys during the off season. So we're we're uh, happy where that is. Matt, as far as the wide receivers go, how did you evaluate that group, and what do you think you guys need to add to help Justin? Yeah, we're always trying to add playmakers at all positions. You know, we want to do that for sure. So that's no different than the receiver position. The one thing that was great about you know the receiver position is that they really bought into the blocking piece of it. But obviously, as we know that as a receiver, you got to be a playmaker. You know, we saw it in the playoffs. We saw it in the Super Bowl, those guys were making plays at critical moments, and that's what we need. You know, so if we can add a, a, a critical piece like that during the course of the draft, we're certainly going to do that. Matt, based on what you saw from your 12 games against Jackson last year and seeing how he carried you on, how important is that continuity in the secondary for what you want to build on? Yeah, it's big. It's really big. And, you know, Eddie's doing good, and, uh, you know, you know, we learned a lot. You know, Jaquan learned a lot from Eddie. Um, so it's uh, it's a big piece that we have that continuity. We have some continuity in the secondary, you know, with Jalen and, and Gordon, and has some really good pieces back there. And if we know that we, you know, get some get some guys up front through free agency in the draft, you know, that'll make that job a little bit easier in the back end for sure. Two more. I just know that we feel good where he is right now. So we got to let that process go, and we'll see. We'll evaluate that as we go. Matt, with Chip, Matt. Big, long, and fast.
I would say that. When you talk about the hits philosophy, would you say by the end of the season, because the discipline it takes to finish that through in a 17-game season, yep. would you say that went up or down as far as your grades are concerned on that? Yeah, I would say it was good. You know, I thought we laid really good foundation, you know, for our hits principle last year. You know, you could see that. We were in every game pretty much, you know. Um, obviously, we had some really close games uh, against some very good teams. And uh, start adding some talent, okay, and then start coaching up a little bit better. I guess what's, it's going to change. So we're excited where that principle is.